Okay, so I'm going to go through real quick. Um, I've just got little odd jobs here and there that I'm working on. Um, I pulled the key rails, uh, key rail assembly out of the piano here, and I'm going to go through and put the punchings on. Or sorry, not all the punchings, but just the felts. Um, and then I'm going to start working on getting the white keys aligned and measured um, so that I can do the notching work. So I'm not going to videotape here as I go, but as you can see, you know, I've got the the green felt on the front and the balance rail felt there just on the first one i'm going to go down the row and get the rest of these done here we go so it didn't take me too long went through and got the uh, punchings all on Let's see the balance rail ones probably fit a little bit tighter on those pins and just because they're small it took a little bit more time but overall it's pretty simple straightforward so I'm going to start laying the white keys out on here so I wanted to explain a little bit what I did for this uh, notching work that I'm going to get started um, the first thing I did is I actually went through and I've got my key kind of clamped up but what I did is I took my scribing tool here or all or whatever these are called and I marked where the wood key stick comes on the side of the plastic and then I use my square and you can just, just kind of see there's a mark I inscribe that mark on the uh, the key top itself so that's going to tell me how far to file and this is key number one the very first key I'm going to do the same exact thing with the very last key but then on the rest of the keys what I'm actually going to do so I'm going to leave them on the balance rail and I'm going to use a long straight edge between the two uh, with it clamped down on the keys to keep everything still. I'm going to use that to go through and actually mark out um, so that it, as you look down the full key set once everything is done all these notches should be lined up and straight with each other. There we go, I've gone through and I've put all the white keys on there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure they're um, all even front to back with each other first because uh, these are new pins and I might need to do some adjustments on those. But once I got those pins even and the keys even front to back, um, then I'll go through the process of marking for the notches uh, across the, uh, the full set of keys there. So. So I wanted to show you what I'm working on real quick. Uh, I've got the keys, all the white keys now with the new key tops glued in. I've got them placed back on the key rail assembly. And um, I've got it temporarily just resting in the piano. But what I wanted to show you is actually um, one step that I'm doing before I go through and mark to trim the notches. Um, I had some pictures of this on the bench, but right now these keys, even though Okay, looking by eyeball, it probably doesn't show up different in the video. But the front edge of these keys are not perfectly aligned all the way across the piano. Um, so right in, I've got this uh, piece on here just holding them all down. Um, but if I actually go through with the straight edge, I apologize, I'm trying to do this one-handed and line this up, but I can kind of rock it back and forth. You can see a handful of the keys are moving. Other keys are not moving at all. The keys that are moving are making contact with the straight edge. The other keys are gapped slightly. Um, and not that they all necessarily have to make perfect contact, but if I get in real close, um, you can see my hand's a little shaky, but you can kind of see that there's certain keys are, you know, right there, line to line with the uh, straight edge, and other keys are gapped by, you know, it's not it's not a consistent amount. Um, so what I want to do first before I go marking for notches is actually make all the front of the keys even, and then I can. Uh, go through and actually do the notches for the sharps and file those because if I were to file the sharps first and then even out the front of the keys then those uh, notches for the sharps would be uneven so 
Um, just trying to get everything set first. With new pins and everything, I gotta make those adjustments. What I'm doing to make the adjustments is if I, my key needs to move forward or back, um, I'm actually tapping with a hammer the balance rail pins. So if I need to move the key back, I tap it, you know, going back into the piano. If I need to move the key forward, I'll work on tapping it back this direction, you know, towards the front of the piano. And um, I just do it little by little, and that will shift the keys and adjust the keys a little bit. So far, I haven't had any that have been so far out that I can't, you know, just with some of those fine-tuned adjustments by adjusting those pins, can't uh, get them corrected. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go every other key or every third key or so and get them all in a straight edge line. And then uh, then I can potentially work with a, a shorter straight edge and bring the other ones up to you know that point. So the ones that are gapped still then bring those up to the even with the other ones that I level out. So uh, that's, that's what I want to do here before I go forward with actually filing the keys to fit. Now it's time for me to, um, I got the keys aligned, so I want to go ahead and actually mark for the notches. So what I did, um, I think in one of the earlier video clips I had, the first and last white key, uh, I went through and I scribed the location of the, uh, the notch that's in the wooden key stick. Um, and then so what I actually did is I came through here and I clamped a straight edge that I have um, I aligned it with those two scribe marks and then I clamped it across the full key set uh, so I can actually go through now by hand and scribe the rest of the keys along that straight edge so I'll know all of my um, all of my notches will be aligned you know across the full set of keys so I've got this set up ready to go off camera I'll do most of the scribing off camera but I'll show you what I'm gonna do here um, so what I can do I can actually come through here. I've already scribed this one, but I can go right up against this edge and I can scribe each key. And I only want to scribe it up to the point where it matches up with the, the side here. Um, and so I can go down the line and scribe each one like that. I'm just kind of showing you here. I'll go back through and do the bulk of it off camera. But take some force and line it with the ruler and scribe each of these as I go. And if I do that along the full set, then once I get everything pulled away, I'll see the scribe marks and that'll tell me how far I need to file them. Uh, and then they'll all be lined up with each other across the full key set. So I'll go ahead and scribe those now that I'm um, off camera and we'll get that done. So here you go. Um, the previous video, I had actually done a couple just to try test it out, but kind of here's the result. Um, if, you can, if I get the reflection just right, you can see those scribe marks along the keys. And I've gone down the full line here. i got to press some of these down as I go. I've gone down the full line, and you can see they're all nice and lined up. So as I go through and file, um, I'll have marks that I can file to. And you can see they do not extend into the, you know, anywhere where the width of the tail would be. So you don't want to leave scratches behind on the keys once they're done. Uh, so that's what I did. I just aligned the notches there. Some of these keys are a little bit dirty with glue residue and stuff, but that'll, I'll clean those off once I'm all done filing um, and get these looking nice. All the way across, I've got notches. They're all nice and aligned. So this will this will look good. Kind of getting some bad light here towards the end, but so that's what I did. Um, next step on the keys will be taking each one of these off and filing them down. Um, going through that work, but that's probably a project for some other time.